how to improve like overall health conditions, increase lifespan, uh, increase the, the uh, conditions in obesity, cardiovascular diseases, cancers, neuro neurological diseases. I mean, all these things can be done by just a simple, simple habit change in, in lifestyle. You know, my name is Gavin Mail. You know, years ago, I was, I was really struggling you know, in, intensely with uh, leaning down the body. You know, the actual first motivation to health is like looking good being outside on a freaking boat, you know, at a pool, looking, looking good with ripped, shredded up abs. Like no matter how hard I tried, no matter how much I starved myself or how much I ran and jogged, it didn't matter. I couldn't get lean. I just, there was a certain point in the body. I get skinny, but not lean. I could get lose weight, but I couldn't get lean. It was like skinny fat, you know, muscular fat, whatever it was, just couldn't finally dial it down. And what I, what I finally realized is like, I had to change up my, my pattern, like my eating habits. And by, by finally changing the times I was eating and structuring like an actual different eating pattern, because, you know, being in a pattern of always eating every few hours, three to five meals a day for so long, you know, the body became used to it and it had been burning. It had been burning uh, glucose from the liver and sugar that I would eat and carbohydrates. And then so finally, once I made the change and I said, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start eating less often and begin eating towards like later in the day, skip breakfast. And it was hard at first, but I would skip breakfast and then all of a sudden I would condense the feeding window to about like six hours a day and then even more narrow. And what this did is it started allowing me to burn the cause like a metabolic switching in which intermittent fasting, it caused the body to switch from sourcing energy from glucose into from the liver. And all of a sudden we're uh, sourcing energy from, from glucose stored in the liver to key ketones, excuse me, ketones, which are stored in fat. And this, this right here, all of a sudden turned into like a freaking, a, like a, it ignited this fat burning. And I was able to just, easily get rid of the fat and dial in the physique without a problem and then be able to maintain it constantly over time as long as I stayed on the routine. Intermittent fasting now goes more mainstream. Like people, There's a lot of studies now that come out in, in medical journals and human clinical trials about the benefits of it You know that are really uh, coming out where they've taken human, humans over a period of 12 weeks and put them on different trials and tests. So it's it's rather compelling as to the benefit. But one of the things I'm, I'm seeing and reading here is, is that, you know, it becomes a new, it's becoming a new way of, of eating pattern to where authors in this one study, he mentions that to acknowledge a widespread adoption of intermittent fasting, the ingrained practice in developed nations of three meals a day, plus snacks along with, uh, you know, plus snacks and the discipline required to shift into a new eating paradigm and the lack of physical training and intermittent fasting intervention. So, so this particular author suggests that the clinicians who prescribed intermittent fasting should encourage their patients to adopt a gradual phased in schedule a consultation with diet or dietitian or nutritionist, you know, and that's the key is like having a gradual phase doing it, let's say five days a week as opposed to every day. Or starting at, you know, doing it 16 hours of fasting a day in the beginning, you know, and so as it, but setting a goal is the key, having a goal in mind of getting to a certain amount of days, if it, even if it's just five, but if you're more advanced like me and you're ready to just kick butt with it, I've been logging 85 days in a row now, bro, 85 days. And so I would definitely accredit the consistency of the intermittent fasting. I'm so, you know, I'm so uh, sold out on this daily thing that I'm actually, you know, apologize, but I'm, I'm interrupting my Thanksgiving coming up this Thursday and I'm going to not eat Thanksgiving regular time. Cause normally what the family would be eating Thanksgiving at like no later than three o'clock. There's no chance that we'd ever been eating at five. So I'm so committed to this that I'm not eating Thanksgiving dinner at three o'clock and I've been doing my, uh, 
after five o'clock eating now for 80, 85 days. So that puts me on no more than a four hour eating, maybe three hours, I'd say. And so I'm even gonna stay committed to it and continue even on Thanksgiving and eat after five o'clock on Thanksgiving. So it's a real big challenge to myself because, you know, as an all or nothing type person at times, you know, having that mentality, as soon as I quit and I say, all right, I'm done. I'm gonna stop doing intermittent fasting on Thanksgiving. Uh, what about the next day? Uh, let's just go and we'll just, we'll just stop doing it all of a sudden. And the, and the habits reverse and start getting fat again. So it's just for me, now that I'm hitting the groove, staying in the intermittent fasting every single day is key. So hopefully I can offer some motivation because ultimately that's what I've been getting is stop the aging process, burning fat for fuel, you know, treating obesity, mental clarity, better focus, higher pro productivity with work, especially like towards like the afternoon hours, it really starts to kick in. But I'm like, oh, psh, I'll be like locked in the zone and like solving a hard problem for hours at times. Not only that, but then also my training, then hitting the training period where right during the peak fasting hours, right before, I like right before dinner, right before, you know, breakfast is gonna be at dinner time for me. And so training right before that, where I'm at like maximum 22 hours of fasting and really getting the benefit from it, that's been incredibly productive. So intermittent fasting, going mainstream, baby offering as much value as I can. This is Gavin Mill. Keep it up, man. Don't stop intermittent fasting. Even on Thanksgiving, there's a challenge to you if you're doing it. It's going to help uh, so many benefits from it overall out of experience. I can't recommend it enough. So leave a comment, like, comment, and subscribe to notification bells. And I'll see you at the freaking top. This is Gavin Mill.